I heard a knock up on my door the other day. I opened it to find it staring in my face. The fear of mortal stock is still reverberate. Everywhere I go. Hey guys, how's it going? This is I the real Randy Chavez. I'm coming at you today. First day of retirement here. Um, video for you guys. Everyone say hello to Dashi. Hello, Dashi. Uh, so there is a couple things to go over. This is a te Tesla stock update video. Uh, I love you all. Um, everyone comment down below if uh, you're buying Tesla today. I did not buy Tesla today. Um, this is coming off the news, and I'll get into Kathy Wood and ARK Invest in a second, but uh, I will invest a little bit more in Tesla as soon as this one big deal goes through that I have that's going down. It's a big Pokemon deal. I'll, I'll invest quite a bit more, actually, like 50% more into Tesla. Uh, most of the rest is in Bitcoin. That being said, what happened this weekend? ARK Invest updated their price targets for 2025. For you, the learning today. We'll learn how to speak. Getting the marbles out of the mouth here. For those of you that don't know, uh, ARK Invest was basically laughed at a few years ago because they said they had a $1,400 price target uh, for this year, 2021. And this was before the split. This is before the split and everyone was just like, ah, ha, ha, laugh. And there's like, ah, this woman, Kathy Wood, is crazy. That's what they were saying. Uh, but who's laughing now? She helps run one of the, one of the top uh, ETF funds in the world, ARK K, ARK G, ARK W, the best ETFs ever, and she's a big fan of Tesla. She was calling Tesla when it was like a couple hundred dollars a share. Again, that was pre-split, and saying that a lot of what she puts goes into it, 10%, because um, anything after that she has to, she can only get up to 10% in the fund that she manages, but this is something where that was their base case, um, and their new base case is three thousand dollars a share by 2025 that would be about four and a half x from where it is today and after this news came out it, it's up like six percent almost seven percent right now as of the making of this video i don't know where it will be uh come time to uh come close at the end of the day but uh, this is something that i 100 percent believe in i have 188 shares a little over a hundred thousand uh, dollars i'm not i'm not selling i will never sell maybe in 2030 when i have some philanthropic goals i want to fulfill i'll sell some then uh, but yeah, this all that they're doing based on, let's say, autonomous revenue, this is a big part of it. This is granted that they solve autonomy, full autonomy by 2025. Um, their bull case, if they solve it, everything goes right. It's, it's $4,000 a share. But their bear case, if everything goes wrong, if absolutely everything goes wrong with this company, that could go wrong, does go wrong, it's still a $1,500 uh, bear case, which is absolutely bananas. Because again, the world is changing going towards uh, fully electric vehicles, not including the energy. Like this, everything that she says does not include energy. It includes insurance. It includes, uh, you know, progression. They're going to build more Giga factories and Terra factories like they are in Giga Berlin and uh, they are in Austin, Texas. They are going to go in to India as well. That's something that's a billion people right there. They might do a second uh, factory in China. Uh, the next one in the U.S. will probably be in the Northeast, as per Elon Musk said in an interview at some point last year. So there's a lot that could be done in the next couple of years. And not only that, they, they have money out the yin-yang. They had $20 billion in the war chest until they invested $1.5 billion in Bitcoin. <laughs> he made about a $1 billion off that, uh, probably $1.2 billion at this point. So he's bought around $33,000, $35,000 of Bitcoin, and now it's like $56,000 of Bitcoin. That's the other thing. Most of what I'm getting from this big giant deal is going into... Uh, it's going into Bitcoin, and the rest is going into it's going into Tesla. So this is something that I am 100% on board with. And again, the Elon Musk has said that the type of industry of energy, you know, his his batteries, his solar, he said it's going to be around the same as cars. So uh, that's as much as car sales. So if Kathy Wood isn't taking this into account, and that's an extra, God, I don't know how many couple hundred billion dollars worth yeah the stock price could go to the moon and even insurance i think they're going a little bit um easy on because insurance is something where they have it where it's the safest cars you know as for nitsa the model 3 and the model y were great and there's such a low center of gravity you know this is the car you know but this is the car nope it goes back it goes literally right back to where it was even if it's skidding uh this way and go and almost turns over it almost always lands back like a cat on the way that it's uh, supposed to be 
So you have that, you have the auto and safety features on. These cars just don't crash. Even without any auto safety features, without full self-drive, without anything on, the drivers of these cars are just upper echelon of driver. I'm not like tapping my own horn here. I do not drive a Tesla. I have a 2012 Honda Civic. Uh, my next car will be a Cybertruck though. Um, hopefully it lasts until I get the Cybertruck. If not, I'll, I'll get something you know in between. Uh, but this is something that the drivers themselves don't crash. But with the safety features and the full self-driving on, yeah, they, they crash so few times, like less than one-fourth of the amount of time as the other safest cars, they crash. And when you do crash, you're most likely good. You're most likely fine. I would much rather be in any type of Tesla that would be in my Honda Civic. Or honestly, m most cars, unless you're in like a tank, which I've been in. Um, oh, those things are so cool. Um, shout out if you're a military veteran like myself. Comment down below what branch you served in. I was in the Air Force myself. Uh, so moving on past that, outside of autonomy, the autonomous driving where they could just set up their robo-taxi network and cars will come to you without drivers, most likely what is going to happen, what uh, Tasha Keeney and Kathy Wood both think, is that Tesla should come out with a ride-sharing, ride-hailing network before that, just with their own Tesla drivers. I, my friend Steve has Model 3, he's like, yeah, I'd do that. Good for you, Steve, you go. You go, fam. Um, and that's something where... They could have that, and then once it comes becomes autonomous, then they really take over the market share because it's going to be so much cheaper. You know, with with other drivers, it's going to be around the same price, maybe a little bit less. Uh, but once you have no drivers, yeah, no insurance, no anything, it's absolutely going to be. There would be no, and most of what they do, they pass the the savings onto us, the healthy consumer, because like what happens when they find a cheaper way to make a Model Y or Model Three? They don't just take the profit; they cut the price so that it's more available to us. Their end goal is to transit, help accelerate the transition to sustainable energy for the world. Uh, that's, why, that's why I love them, that's why I love Elon Musk. And what is going on in India is they're probably going to get the Model 2, something that was teased in China, just a small car, because most of India, you know, like a moped or, or something with three wheels, you're, you're not, a lot of cars really aren't driven there, so you need a small car, small compact car, Model 2. India is definitely ready. There's a billion people on there. I think, were they the fifth largest economy in the world behind like UK, car, uh, yeah, UK, uh, China, I'm sorry, US, China, um, and like two other places. Or it could even be third or fourth. Uh, but yeah, that's a huge economy. Tesla's going to dominate there and they have a lot of sun. There's going to be a lot of places that they can probably charge up because they have the storage. They have the best batteries in the world. So uh, again, every time ARC speaks with a new price target, uh, honestly, my, my price target is actually their, is their bull case because they're not taking into account uh, the energy storage. So I'm going to go uh, and say 4000 prediction. You heard it here first, $4,000 a share by 2025, uh, if not more. And again, I personally is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not just retired at age 30. She probably should be. Um, I am going to say it is going to be, it's going to be a $6 trillion company minimum. That is 10x from here by 2030. Okay, just my opinion. I love you all. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. God bless. I love you all. Goodbye. Yeah, yeah, yeah.